welcoming our students to the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC, the Doctor of Dental Surgery, class of 2027, and the Advanced Standing Program for International Dentists, class of 2025.
Hello, everyone. I'd like to welcome you all to the 2023 White Coat Ceremony. My name is Avishai Sadan, yes, and I'm the Dean of the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC. I'm tremendously excited to be here today to mark the beginning of a special journey for the incoming members of the DDS class of 2027 and the ASPID class of 2025. At this time, I'd like you to direct your attention to the screen behind me for a special presentation. going to be so embarrassing. The first time I went to the dentist, I had a ton of cavities. I think I was five, but it's okay because I got through it. And here we are. <laughs> first time I remember going to the dentist, I remember I fell outside in my backyard and hit my tooth. I was crying so much. And I went to the dentist and he did a baby root canal on me and the pain just went away. It was like magic. I don't remember being scared. I remember there was a big window, there was a tree outside. I remember just loving the smells and hearing him mix a bunch of things up in the background and I just thought that was really cool. I do remember my first week and first day of dental school. I was excited. I finally was in, a, a, in my career. I was in my profession. I remember going up to the sim lab for the first time and then you go and pick up this cardboard box and inside it had your hand piece, your high speed, your slow speed, your rubber bowl, your spatula. We got our cheeks, we got our typodonts, and I remember seeing my name plate with my name engraved there and it was kind of just a moment where everything felt real. You're looking through all of these supplies, you don't know what some of these are, you have seen some of them before, and then all of a sudden you get a drill and you're just like, wow, uh, this is real. I remember picking this up and not knowing anything about it, but knowing that my dental journey was starting sooner than I can imagine. The white coat ceremony is a very special day to all of us. On the students' ends, you can see the pride, the joy, the eyes of the families that are so happy to see their loved ones getting to that point. But you can also sense the anxiety in the eyes of the students. But for us faculty, we know that we'll walk you through this journey Rest assured, you will be just fine. White coat ceremony is the beginning of a transformational journey. When I don my white coat, I'm reminded of the responsibility that I have to always adhere to the highest codes of ethics and professionalism as I go to serve mankind. To me, my white coat symbolizes uh, a sense of achievement. It's something that I hang in my room very proudly um, before I go to class every day is something that I look at just to remind me. There's a lot of trust behind that white coat. When I received my white coats, I felt that I am now having the responsibility to take on this identity as doctors. So when you put the white coat on, it makes you feel like a dentist. It makes you feel like you're respected. When a patient sees someone in a white coat, they know that we're here to help them. It symbolizes the privilege that we get to participate in the lives of our patients. It means honor by being part of a field that holds the patient care in the highest regard and a responsibility to respect that care and respect patients every single day of my life. I still wear the white coat and students and faculty see me on the clinic with the, with the white coat all the time. So it has a special place in my heart. My advice to the students is to stay focused, to come prepared, to do your best every day and trust that the Trojan family has your back always. Come prepared, get ready to learn, grab every opportunity that you can while you're still in school. Come every day if you can, just be in the clinic and come stay upstairs, ask questions and be very active. Enjoy every single bit of this experience. It goes by so fast and it comes at you so fast. Always keep an open mind. You know, you may have your good days and your bad days too. Always make sure to be flexible. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Trust the process. Our professors and the school 
have put so much time and effort into our curriculum, every student is going to come out of USC an amazing dentist. Getting to learn from world-class faculty, it's, it's something so surreal. You read about their names in articles and, and just being able to talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, it's, it's so fascinating to have this wealth of knowledge just right in front of us. Well, one of my duties, I think, to the students here as a faculty member is um, role modeling um, and mentorship. One of the most important things that I've learned here in dental school is that we want to treat our patients with respect, integrity, and utmost compassion. You know, I've always dreamed of a life where I could care for people and be hands-on in that care, and the dental life is just right for me. I will dedicate my professional life to regarding each patient as a whole and complex person. I will use the very best clinical diagnostic strategies. I dedicate my life to the health of those whose lives I directly or indirectly touch. I will always conduct myself with conscience, compassion, and dignity. I will maintain by all means in my power the noble traditions of the dental profession. I will honor my fellow students as professional colleagues and together we will nurture our shared humanity. I will always maintain the highest respect for human life. I make these promises without hesitation, freely, and upon my honor. Fight on! Fight on! Fight on! Fight on! Fight on. Fight on. All right. Today, we will all witness an exciting transformation here inside the Bovard Auditorium. The students who walked in here today will live forever changed. Students, by the time you live today, you will have put on your Austro white coat for the first time. You will have taken a solemn oath to conduct yourself with compassion, honor, and professionalism. And you will leave this auditorium as the newest members of the highly regarded Trojan dental family. Your time at Ostro will require much of you. Most importantly, you will be expected to uphold the high standard set forth by more than 125 years worth of students who have come before you. It's a responsibility reserved only for the best of the best. And I'm confident that each of you is up to the challenge. Please join me in a round of applause for the students taking part in the white coat ceremony today. Yeah. All right. Today is not only a special occasion for our students, we are also joined by the proud family, friends, and significant others who have stood by these students every step of the way. It is in part because of this unwavering love, support, and encouragement that our students have made it this far. To the family and friends of, in the audience, I'd like to offer our gratitude for entrusting us with your loved one's future. It is a responsibility we will not take lightly. Please join me in a round of applause for the family and friends joining us today. <laughs> Students, you're about to begin a course of study that will test your limits intellectually, emotionally, and physically. Your years at Ostro will not be easy ones. Many of you will routinely watch the sun rise and set over the dental school. You will spend hours studying in our library, conducting research in our laboratories, and providing treatments in our clinics. During this time, we will teach you to practice dentistry using the most innovative science, technologies, and methods. You will learn to practice dentistry not as it exists today, but as it will in 10, 15, 20 years from now. It is partly this forward-looking curriculum that will help you stand apart 
from other dental school graduates across the nation. During your time at Ostro, there will be many exciting opportunities for you to augment your education even further outside the classroom. There will be chances to conduct research with some of the, most, of the profession's most well-respected investigators to provide treatment to some of society's most vulnerable populations and to develop leadership skills as part of the many student groups here at Ostro. I encourage you to take advantage of as many opportunities as you can because it is through these experiences that you will forge your raw talent, intelligence, and curiosity into a rock-solid career to last you the rest of your life. Once you graduate, you will enjoy the many perks of being a member of the Trojan Dental family. The Century Club Alumni Association is the dental school's alumni support group, and you automatically become a member after graduation. The group offers everything from mentorship to networking opportunities and connects you to a vast group of well-connected Trojan dentists willing and able to help you in your career. It's what being a Trojan Dental family member is all about. At this time, I'd like to introduce our first speaker. It wasn't too long ago that Dina Fatehi was sitting here, like many of you, eager to put her white coat and officially begin her dental career. Dina is the president of the Associated Student Body and, as a fourth-year DDS student, She's someone who had plenty of insight into what, com the, what, com the, what the coming years have in store for you. Please welcome to the podium, student doctor, Dina Fatehi. Thank you, Dean Sadan. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dina Fatehi, and I am honored to be here this evening to welcome you to the Trojan Dental family. Today, we gather to celebrate a significant milestone in your journey towards becoming dental professionals. And it is an honor to stand before you on this momentous occasion to celebrate the bright future that lies ahead of you. It's truly remarkable to reflect on the fact that just three short years ago, I was sitting in the seats that you find yourselves in today. My journey at USC began in 2017 when I set foot on this incredible campus as an undergraduate college student. As the time came for me to select a dental school, the decision was crystal clear in my mind. USC had already established itself not only as not only my educational foundation, but also my home for learning. Today, as you stand on the brink of a new chapter, I am reminded of the remarkable twists and turns that this path to becoming dental professionals can take. Just a few years ago, I was sitting where you are, full of excitement, anticipation. But what makes my journey unique is a chapter that unfolded in the midst of my dental school experience, the birth of our daughter, Riley Sienna. It was a moment that redefined my perspective, my dedication, and my purpose. As I navigated the rigorous demands of dental school, I also embraced the joy and responsibilities of parenthood. The birth of our daughter was not only a profound personal experience, but a powerful lesson in balance, time management, and resilience. It taught me to prioritize, to find strength in unexpected places, and to keep my eye on the goal, even when faced with new challenges. And while it may have added a layer of complexity to my journey, it brought a depth of meaning and motivation that I never could have anticipated. Through sleepless nights and busy days, I realized that the skills that we acquire here at Ostro go far beyond the clinic. They are life skills, the ability to adapt, to persevere, and to find strength in the most demanding moments. The white coat signifies not just our commitment to dental excellence, but our duty to embrace all aspects of life that shape us into well-rounded, compassionate, and capable individuals. During your time here, prioritize nurturing your relationships with your fellow classmates, 
Don't be discouraged by those late nights spent together in the sim lab practicing your hand skills. They will foster bonds as strong as those that you have with your family. Utilize the expertise of your faculty members. Don't take their constructive criticism personally. View it as a valuable tool to aid your growth and success. They aren't just teachers, but mentors, shaping not only your skills, but your character as well. Make the most of your time here, because it'll fly by before you know it. Venture out and explore Los Angeles, unwind at the beach, and be sure to catch our football games. It might just be your last chance to witness a USC football victory before the Heisman champion Caleb Williams leaves us for the NFL draft. Lastly, as you step into this new chapter, remember that you are not alone. USC's vibrant community stands behind you, ready to support, challenge, and inspire you. As we step into our roles as dental professionals, let us remember that our personal experiences, no matter how distinct, are woven into the fabric of our professional journeys. The lessons learned, the challenges overcome, and the moments of joy and struggle all contribute to the compassionate care that we provide to our patients. So as you embark on this remarkable journey, I encourage you to celebrate your unique stories as I do mine. Embrace the unexpected twists and turns that may come your way, for they have the potential to enhance your growth and enrich your connection with the people you serve. Within the confines of the University of Southern California, I discovered more than an exceptional learning institution. I discovered a family a family with whom I could share my days that made leaving my daughter and husband at home just a bit more bearable. You will find that this Trojan family is what sets the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry apart from the rest. Congratulations again and fight on. Thank you, Dina. Our next speaker is a USC alumna having completed her DDS degree in 1995. She then joined our faculty as a clinical instructor. Today, she's a professor of clinical dentistry and the school's chief health officer. Her leadership helped us navigate the COVID-19 pandemic, ensuring we were able to continue providing treatment to our patient population in a safe and healthy manner. Please welcome to the podium, Dr. Joyce Galligan. Hi, good evening everybody. I'm Dr. Joyce Galligan, and I was quite surprised one day when Dean Sedan walked up to me and was like, Dr. Galligan, I have a question for you. I'm like, oh, oh no, because when he calls me that name, Dr. Galligan, it's almost like when you're a little kid and your parents call you, like your fur, you know, full name, Joyce Marie Galligan, time for dinner. So I was like, oh, okay, what are you asking for now? He's like, I'd really like you to speak at the white coat ceremony to let people know your journey, your specific history of what happened for you to end up where I am here today speaking in front of all of you. So I'm not sure about the pearls of wisdoms I really have to share with you, but I do hope that um, you will be open to new experiences that you have, that it really had me take a reflection about how was my journey to get here today to be a professor and the chief health officer at the school. And just to let you know that you never know what your profession, a future, will hold for you. Some of you have come from um, a country where you've already earned a dental degree. Some of you have worked as a dentist. Others have worked in a dental office. Some have not worked in a dental office whatsoever. So everybody's journey is personal. And again, I hope you're up into new experiences that are going to happen for you. Because for me personally, dentistry was not my per first profession at all. I was a registered nurse for seven years before I came to dental school. And so I think I had a little different perspective. And I want you, as I said, to be open to new experiences. I understand some of the work that you're going to be doing. It might be a little nerve-wracking for you the first couple times that you do it. For example, some of you might get incredibly nervous for the very first intraoral injection you're going to have to give to your patients. And I get that because sometimes, you know, you have to use a little sharp object to poke people to help them get better. So I, unfortunately, don't really remember my first intraoral injection that I gave to a patient here, but I can clear as day tell you the very first IM injection I ever gave to a patient. 
And I was so nervous about it, and I remember like, okay, Joyce, stay calm, stay focused. You know what the steps are to do it. I remember drawing up the uh, fluid into the syringe and giving the injection to the individual. And I remember I had to get my landmarks correct because I was giving the injection in somebody's rear end. And you want to make sure that you're going to avoid the sciatic nerve because you don't want to cause somebody to have sciatic nerve pain or make somebody disabled. And on top of that, my very first injection was being given to a Major League Baseball player for the New York Yankees. So I knew I didn't want to uh, cause any sciatic nerve. But then again, if I did, oh well, I'm a Dodger fan. So, you know, <laughs> I would have something to uh, help me out with that. So I really uh, love now here at the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry, one of the things I truly loved about coming to school here and why I love working here is the diverse population that we have, not only of students, because again, we get people coming from all over the world to come to become dental students here. We get to share the experiences for a lot of times the ASPID students bring a lot of information that you can share with what you've done in your private practices perhaps and that there are some classes that are called mingled with the DDS program. So we really get to learn a lot about each other as well as all the patients that we treat here that we have a very diverse population here at the school that I think makes us one of the best educational schools in the nation and in the world because you also treat patients here who are from all stages of life, whether it's in the pediatric clinic, on our second floor clinic, or if you're in one of our community dentistry sites, like the Union Rescue Mission, all the way up to treating patients who are gonna be in on the Hollenbeck, which is a senior living um, convalescent home. And so I'm hoping, again, that you are really wide open to learn about everything that you can here at the school. So when I first graduated from nursing school, I could be honest with you, I never imagined I would end up being a dentist. That wasn't on my radar at all. And also, I can tell you that when I graduated from dental school, I never once imagined I would ever step foot back in this building being a faculty member at all. So it wasn't until a couple months after I graduated that I received a phone call from Dr. Gail McDonald and also Dr. Mavash Navazish, who's now the Executive Associate Dean of um, Academic Affairs here, asking me to come back and be a faculty member. And I was like, what? Me? Really? I'm like, yeah, we think that you would be great and that we want to know that um, you bring it, you know, such a depth and breadth of understanding from your personal story of getting here from being a registered nurse and that you also will be able to help us when it's really the thought process was starting to begin that we were going to be treating patients, entire patients, that's not just somebody. You treat an entire human being who has a significant medical history. Some people have more complex medical history than others. Some people have polypharmacy, meaning they take a whole bunch of medications. And then you have to learn, well, if I'm their provider, what do I need to change? What treatment modifications do I need to know to do to help make a safe environment for everybody that walks through our door? So I hope your dental journey is going to be surprising as mine. As I said, I had no idea when I graduated from nursing school I'd ever be a dentist. I had no idea when I graduated from dental school that I'd ever step foot back here and be a faculty member. And I also had no idea, too, when I came back as a faculty member, I'd be involved in research projects, being asked to write journal articles. So I hope that your journey is going to be surprising as mine, and you never know what your future brings. But again, I hope you're going to be open to all the possible uh, opportunities that you're going to be having here. I look so forward to working with all of you in the clinic floor. And I just hope that you all have like the best time. And again, I welcome you and I applaud you for your accomplishment to get here today. So good job to all of you. I think that you guys are all phenomenal. And when in doubt, fight on. Thank you, Dr. Galligan. Our final speaker is also an alumnus of the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC. Dr. Brian Hong completed his DDS degree in 1989 before going on to complete his advanced specialty training in pediatric dentistry. He also completed a master's degree in craniofacial biology. This triple Trojan now serves as a chair of the Friends of Dentistry Ostro's premier support group. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Brian Hong.
Thank you, Dean Zadan. <clears throat> Doctors, good afternoon. For the next four years, and so, two for some, you will be working very hard to earn that title. What better way is there to start that journey than a ceremony such as this? I'm truly honored to welcome the DDS class of 2027 and the ASPID class of 2025 to your white coat ceremony. It is no doubt a very special and meaningful day for you as this ceremony marks the beginning of your entrance to the time-honored profession. But today is also a special day for your family as well. Your parents, spouses, and other family members who have been there for you with an unwavering support. To all the family members that are here to witness this event, thank you for believing in them. Thank you for your love and support. And it just so happens, I also have a very special family member here this afternoon joining us. He's a future Austro-Trojan hopeful. I emphasize hopeful. Class of 2049. <laughs> He's my grandson, Liam, who is visiting me from New York City. He's only nine months old. And my wife and I have the joyful duty of babysitting him over the weekend, as evidenced by the bags under my eyes. <laughs> and of course, no speech would be complete without a joke, right? So there was this guy standing outside the Rose Bowl trying to get his newborn puppies to get adopted. As people were leaving the game, he was shouting, adopt a Bruin puppy, adopt a Bruin puppy. Then about two weeks later, the same guy was found outside the Coliseum doing the same thing after the USC game. Except this time he was shouting, adopt the Trojan puppy. They want to be Trojans. A reporter who recognized him went up to him and asked him, hey, aren't you the same guy two weeks ago who was just pitching these guys to be Bruins? And the guy replied, well, hello, that was two weeks ago. Now they got their eyes open. Yesterday, I met with some friends, and I thought I'd practice joke on them. The mistake was they were Bruins, <laughs> and it wasn't as well received. Welcome to the Trojan Dental family. You have indeed made a great choice. With 126 years of history of excellence, USC represents world-class dental education. This is a place where you will develop not only the lifelong friendships, but also be able to take advantage of everything the school has to offer to become a successful clinician, professor, or a researcher, or all of the above, why not? A place where you can shoot for the stars and become the very best you can be. I know that today is just the beginning, but I wanted you to take a moment to think about what your career will look like in 20 to 30 years from now? What kind of doctor do you aspire to be? And if you were to address the class of 2049, what would be your story? I ask this because the commitment to be the very best does not start five years after graduation, nor 10 or 20. That decision is made right from the get-go you will receive the very best training. But the skill set by itself is only part of the recipe for successful and rewarding career. I have found that earning a patient's trust is the foremost important ingredient based on compassion, honor, and integrity. And these are the values that reflect your frame of mind. Dental school will teach you the skill set but you will have to choose the mindset. I've been a pediatric dentist for all my career. The last time I did a root canal was in dental school to graduate. 
Veneers and implants are simply not in my daily practice vocabulary. Dull and boring, you might be thinking. But quite the contrary, looking back at the past 30 plus years, it has absolutely been fun and exciting. Let me explain. When I see my patients for their first dental exam at age one, they only have a few teeth. And most of the time, they're screaming at the top of their lungs. Yes, pediatric dentistry is a calling. <laughs> then they enter first grade. And soon we all get excited about the tooth, first tooth falling out. And what happens? Tooth fairy comes. I give them a treasure chest so that they can put it under the pillow with their tooth in it. To borrow a phrase from an old MasterCard commercial, cheap plastic treasure chest, two cents. Tooth fairy visit, dollar per visit. Their beaming smile at the anticipation of the tooth fairy coming, priceless. Some come back with cavities. They walk in all nervous, ask lots of questions, but they understand that I'm trying my best to take care of them. And when we're done, as they leave, they give me a high five or a hug. Now that's a special feeling that you have to experience to believe it. And then every now and then, some teenagers, when they come back for their checkup, really surprise me because they come back with tongue piercing. <laughs> it's so funny because I would remember this kid to be the most nervous for their treatments. They want the laughing gas, the white knuckles, lots of drama, more drama than the K-dramas on Netflix, <laughs> the whole nine yards. You know, so I'm genuinely curious. I ask, hey, did that hurt? <laughs> and the reply is always a resounding, no. I really enjoy watching them grow up. By the time they graduate high school, I am so proud of the young adults they have become. With some guys, my neck strains to look up at their towering heights. It is the time where I thank them for allowing me to take care of them for all these years. I give them a hug and wish them well. Most recently, I started seeing second generation of patients. My former patients are bringing their children. It is an indescribable feeling of joy as we greet each other once again. They trusted me enough to bring their kids. So what I have just shared with you is my testimony of my service to my patients with honor and integrity. It has been the guiding light that has allowed me to enjoy what I do every day. I believe strongly that is what the Austro-Trojan dentistry pedigree is all about. You see, it's never too early to commit yourself to the tradition of excellence. By the time you come up here to tell your story, you will have lived it, experienced it, and will be thankful to be able to share that legacy with future generations of Austro-Trojans. May this be the day you begin your beautiful journey and know that you've made the right decision in choosing the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC. Congratulations. Fight on. Thank you, Dr. Hong. Now it's time to address the white coat and what it stands for. It not only represents your entrance into the dental profession, it also symbolizes a solemn obligation to your mentors and the educational process, as well as an enduring commitment to service and compassion. There is a well-known USC phrase that I feel is very appropriate for this, and you have heard it quite a few times already today. This is, fight on. By putting this code today, you commit yourself to always fight on for your patient's health and well-being and for the integrity, honor, 
and ethics of your profession. At this time, please stand up and put on your white coats. Students, please repeat after me. Shh. 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 Students, please repeat after me. I will dedicate my professional life to regarding each patient as a whole and complex person. Promoting health to all people identifying risk factors, and serving as an advocate for disease prevention. I will use the very best clinical diagnostic strategies, provide the finest clinical treatments and therapeutics, and continue to learn, revise, and enrich my knowledge throughout my career. I dedicate my life to the health of those whose life I directly or indirectly touch, my family and friends, the broader community, my individual patients, and their families. I extend to the learned faculty, staff, and fellow students my full respect and gratitude, which is their due. I will always practice my profession with the highest integrity, thoughtful judgments and skills derived from scientific evidence. I will always conduct myself with conscience, compassion, and dignity, with the health of and well-being of my patients and community as the first consideration. I promise to respect the privacy of my patients. I will maintain by all means in my power the noble traditions of the dental profession. I will honor my fellow students as professional colleagues and function in such a fashion as to earn their trust and respect and together we will nurture our shared humanity. I will not let considerations of religion, nationality, race or ethnicity, gender or sexual orientation, disabilities, political choices, or social and economic standing interfere with my duty to the patient. I will always maintain the highest respect for human life. I make these promises without hesitation, freely, and upon my honor.
Congratulations to all of our students here today. You are now officially part of the Trojan Dental family. We are here to support you, my door, and the doors of the faculty, staff, and alumni are always open to you and your family members. Welcome to USC and fight on!
Distinguished guests, please allow our speakers and students to exit first. Thank you for attending.